Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I know we are still in this pandemic. But this pandemic is still going on. So I'm so glad that you guys are with us here on KTN Home because we are having an awesome conversation here on Man Talk. And it's just, you know, to help you. It's Wednesday, it's halfway through the week. And you also learn a little, little something from my very awesome guests. So just before the break, to look to Befika Mahali Yakongea, the whole topic is about why successful women are single. Why women who are doing so well in their business, in their career, when I struggle to settle in a relationship, ama atawataki. So I have my awesome guests here, Sarah Toxic and Ezekiel. Ezekiel Kelly. Kelly. I'm a Kelly Inspiration. Kelly Inspiration, which is all your socials, and they should check out your YouTube as well. Now, you are in a relationship. Yes. You married? Yes. Fantastic. So you and your wife, obviously, are a very good example of some of the things that we want to talk about here on Man Talk. So we've talked about the struggles that guys are going through when they're young, when they're dating, um, how young women are having such access to so much money in the world. And like Sarah was saying, it's like men Kuna iyo barrier, when you know, when you say men are still working hard, but it's like there's a barrier to wealth that women can reach easier these days. So you're in a relationship. When you guys were dating, when you guys were starting things off before you got married, how did you deal with that? How did you guys deal with income, money? If somebody was making more money than the other, how did you handle that with your significant other? Now, uh, Susan, before I answer that. Mm -hmm. I think we have a corrupted definition of success. Okay. Because we only, so long as you have money, you are considered successful. Right. Now, if you have money and you don't have peace, you don't belong in the list of successful people mm -hmm. completely. Because mm -hmm. if you have money and you are sleeping in the house and money is sleeping in the account. Yeah. And you are stressed, you don't you are not yourself you inside unhappy. that place, mm -hmm. my friend, forget it. So before we say that single mothers or single women are successful, okay. what are we talking about? In, we need to go straight and say they are rich, not successful. Okay. Because the thing is this, God did not make a mistake by deciding that people are supposed to be in a family. I want to believe that if someone is single or something. It should be circumstantial. That we understand. Biblically, it's understood in everywhere. But saying that I want to be single so that I become successful <laughs> can make you probably realize that what you are pursuing is not even success itself. Right. So you want to be rich. You want, you want to be rich. You want to be rich. When you want to be rich, say, I want to be rich. Uh -huh. Not I want to be successful. Because when you get there, you discover it is not what you're looking for. Yes. You may think it is green on the other side, only to get that it is green. It, it is plas any plastic, grass. Uh, plastic <laughs> grass that you, you're seeing there. Yeah. So uh, back to what you're saying. In the areas of managing finances, you know, I started when I was dating. I was dating when I was in campus, okay. in Kenyatta University, and the lady I was dating was also a student in campus. I nice. was doing become she was doing education. Okay. So all of us were broke. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Everyone was a student. <laughs> she was a student, so of course, uh, we, we can't say, we can't talk of managing money because you can't manage air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there was nothing we managed. There's nothing as air management, <laughs> <it's> financial <laughs> management. Okay, that. So, so I started working hard doing a, thing, a few things here and there, and of course, started doing up. We, we are still growing. Yeah. So, we have not gotten somewhere I can talk of financial management. God is taking us there. Ask another question. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> From your lips to God's ears, yes. for both of you. Yes. But I like what you're saying there. Um, when you were in university and you were dating a university yes. student, yes. did you see um, other girls that you obviously started with in first year um, get that exposure to let them make their own money, let them drive for themselves? And were many of your the girls that you saw, was it success from older men and that attention? Or was it success from, there's a girl who has started a business in university? Now, thank you for that. In mm -hmm. fact, my brother talked about it. My brother Cyrus. I don't want to call him Cyrus because this way you you call him nicely, but mine is like an insult. <laughs> mine sounds like an insult. Uh, it's I an insult. Anyway, so. It let, is. It let, is. Let, please, uh, huh? Susan, continue. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. My brother over here, <laughs> Salim, uh, li li life coach, uh -huh. talked about it. Yes. Now, the truth is this because I want to handle the, the, the both perspectives uh -huh. so that we go, we, we get it in full. Yeah. The truth is that there are women who are rich, mm -hmm. 
and have gotten their money through decent means. Yeah. Because nowadays, there is no job meant for men, no job True. meant for women. True. Women are out of there to do anything to get money. Go to Nyamakima and see how women are working like something else. You go there, women are working like bees. Right. They are very young. Mm -hmm. And you, they, they are wearing gowns. Yeah. You don't even see the beauty inside the gown. No. Wait for oh. them on weekends. Uh -huh. When they are they're sp they're spinning their automobiles. Yes. My friend, they have money that they have gotten legitimately out of hard work. Yes. On the other hand, mm -hmm. they are the so-called the slay queens. Mm -hmm. Who are minting money from men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you getting that? Yeah. Huh? Doing business without capital. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you getting that? <laughs> <laughs> so, if you call them successful, is this not a splash of money from men's pocket? I like so it. This is, is so, so this one here is a man's money being used by someone else. Mm -hmm. True or false? Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. I get it that. That's true. Mm -hmm. And you go to campus, our generation is rotten and we need special prayers. Mm -hmm. uh, we need special prayers because sometimes you think your child is in university. Your child is dating someone that's older than your, older than the father in the name of money. Your child is dating, is, is dating, my grandfather. not even a grandfather, your child is dating an ancestor <laughs> to get money. Dating an ancestor. Yeah. Dating a fossil. <laughs> a fossil. To get money. She's 1920 below 25. Omera. Yeah. And but it's true, it's the situation for a lot of and people. They, you know what's happening? Mm -hmm. And they live that kind of lavish life yeah. and they intimidate others that probably have not chosen to do so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and make it appear like that is life. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing is that they make very expensive decisions at that stage okay. that I don't want a man in, in my life. Then when, it, when they hit at a, a, level, a certain age, when they're no more appealing to such men mm -hmm. and they're jilted by force okay. and they have nothing at hand, mm -hmm. they now start go to going to church and fasting and praying okay. for a husband. For a, for a good when they've started for hitting a, a very dangerous age that right. the people they want don't want them, but the, one, but, but the ones that want them, they don't want. Mm -hmm. It's a catch-22. <laughs> How good is that? So this is a decision that is corrupted at a certain age when they're still flowery, when people can look at them and a visionary man can capture them. Mm -hmm. They are spoiling with, they are eating their future in advance. And, mm -hmm. and, and old is supposed to eat young, not the other way around. And I'm getting that. Yeah. So this is something that is happening and please let us not see that and think it is success. There is nothing like that. Nothing. These things come with a lot of regrets. Yeah. When they sit in their own closet, you don't know the kind of things running in their minds. I've shared a moment with some of them and they tell me that kill is not what you think. Yeah. When we sit down to ourselves, we have we pity ourselves. So let no one cheat you. It's a hard me, life. My friend, life is life is a choice. Mm -hmm. Life is like an exam. Mm -hmm. You try to copy someone else, you discover they're doing subject a different subject. Mm -hmm. I'm copying you, think you're doing this while well, I discover you're doing <laughs> something else. I want to go back to mm -hmm. the Nyamakima woman. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So hardworking, successful women who are getting their money legitimate. Yes. And we talked about at the very, very beginning of the show. Yes. We talked about motivation yes. and how uh, the woman now is motivated to go out there to really get educated to yes. make her own money. Yes. Um, and we've talked about how the man is also still working hard. Yes. Toxic. Yes. What is the motivation that's lacking? Um, within young men and can it come from older men? Is there a conversation that's not happening just between men? Because the young man is hustling peer, but when you mesema, labda ukienda na makima, amba ukienda like these business conferences, networking, Leo, these days now there's a pandemic, so zote zinafanyika Zoom. I've noticed personally in my own experience, I'm finding way more young women in those meeting rooms. Men are now the younger, the fewer in the room and you're like, ah, what's happening here? So what's the motivation that's lacking for younger men to have that drive, like these hardworking young women, mukutane uko mukihasol, you get married uko mukihasol? Okay, uh, <coughs> I'm going mm -hmm. personally, I'm going to give you an example of me. I'm going to gig. Okay. I'm going to give you a thousand. 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 Ni amu wacha 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 leo ni ni, ni item roros. Roros hema pana mimi sayata kwenye niko. E, lazima utume fair. 
Okay. Ta umbili kwanza iende. Nimebaki na pesa ngapi? Kwani ametoka? Anatoka wapi? Aiwe. Hii mm. Nairobi, hii Nairobi kituma fare ya 500. Fare ya 100 au ya kuji. Alikwambia na 500. Awe ni credit anatafuta. Hiyo najiambia tu wenyewe hii wacha tu iende. Yeah. So ta umbili udema. You know she will reach where you are. Atafika, hiyo ni sure bet. Dema amekama. Mimi nimebaki hapo hata tuseme na ta umbili tu yingine. Ta umbili. Okay, let me just ask. Are these women are where there is a pandemic? Ta umbili ya fare ukifika utakula nini? Hey, hey. No, that is what you are thinking. Hey, hey. Sasa udem pesa. Hii uh-huh. pesa akose kutumia. Uh-huh. Yeah. Aweke tu ido uh, na to assume kwa siku fare akule hata 10,000 mimi akuje saa kumi ye yeah, anigote ama hata alale na jeans alafu ende ende place ingine Ap- Unaona udem at the, end, at the end of the day udem amemeka muku chumbaya mm-hmm. akona do mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. sisi sisi huku chini ya maji tunatengeneza do tunatengeneza do lakini inaenda inaenda tuna inaenda tuna madem inaenda tuna madem tu so wase wanaona wewe ama demo na make pesa sana uh-huh. una get uh-huh. na mimi ningetaka kudifana professor sema professor hapo akisema eh, story ya alikuwa alimeongelea story ya madem yes um Slay Queens. Yeah. Uh-huh. Story of Slay Queens. At the end kuna difference ya hii success na hii success. Okay. Mimi wa lie hapa kwa TV ningekuwa dem. Hii <laughs> kwenye niko saa hii yani maisha vile inagonga mtu. Uh-huh. Wacha success iko success. In any way. Ai bwana pesa ni pesa. Hakuna mm. mtu saa hii akiona dem akitamba huyu huyu yake ni ya Slay Queen, hii no, yake ni ya wanaume, hii yake ni ya hard work yote, wataongea mahali pamoja. <laughs> Wakisema watu wenye wako na pesa kwa hii arambe wasimame. Kila mtu atasimama. Watasimama. Kwa wako na pesa. Eh, watu wako na pesa. Let me hijack this gentleman here. Now, you will understand that when you grow up. So, what you are saying, go ahead and say it. But when you grow up, you, you discover bora ni, bora bora ningekuwa kama mimi ningekuwa dem bora nikigrow niko na hiyo pesa hiyo iko sawa <laughs> bora nikigrow niko na hiyo afadhali ni hit your time sasa ninafaa kwenda kanisa kutafuta mwanaume ama bibi lakini niko na muku chu pesa iko like kuliko ni grow na mimi ni maskini nasema mimi, mimi pesa yangu ni ya hard work peke yake so you can't make it the right way he's saying the, either way however you choose to make it sababu maisha ni ngumu sana hey. pesa ikiwa kwa bank account na ikiwa kwa handbag is where it matters yes, it does not matter how you make it pesa ni pesa that's a that's a, a good view for a lot of young people because hata sisi kama hii pressure tunonanga social media kwa simu right i want you know i want thank you very much to my stylist by the way wendy i feel like i'm looking super cute today but every day you know i want cute heels nataka hii extension yangu nimeongeza by the way msiseme nyole si yangu ni yangu nilunua eh na vaa jumpsuit na vaa belt na vaa all these things cost money makeup naitumia inaisha nitanunua tena all these things cost money because it's the pressure we have in this 2021 as young people you want to look fresh you have a fresh bomber jacket a very nice shirt nice air force one kicks i'm seeing mm. you want to look fresh yes. and looking fresh costs money convenience as a young person you want electricity you want running water unataka wifi hakuna kazi tunatafuta siku hizi always ifanya bila internet nyumbani na nini nini all these things cost money so young people whether they are men or they are women kila mtu ana chase paper sio so what you're saying is at the end of the day whether it's a woman or it's a man anataka yo Mukuchu, mukuchu. Exactly. Yeah. Mukuchu. Yes. yes. Now, Susan, <laughs> let me let me okay, what you're saying is good, yes. Mm-hmm. But don't forget mm-hmm. that the way you are packaged right now, the way mm-hmm. you have been designed and dressed. Mm-hmm. It is another level. Mm-hmm. I'll get to that. Mm-hmm. Probably higher. Mm-hmm. But someone b- b- because you can afford it. Yes. Someone else And I can, this is also for work. I don't, don't look like this every day. <laughs> Someone else who cannot afford what you have yes can also look good in a different level very true now when you grow up you stay up mm-hmm. when you jump up you fall down okay many people don't want to grow up they want to microwave life because we are short sighted we are only seeing now i want what i want now no matter what i get it mm-hmm. i'm getting there someone is telling you please that road you are following is headed to the is headed to the, to the ocean okay fine let me just go if i fall in the ocean fine Sour. and you had reached the ocean fuck i wish i had what that person told me was telling me that is where the generation is going toxic do you ever hear such conversations either amongst your friends or amongst other male 
male mentors uko nao mtaa maisha yako are these conversations happening ama unaambiwa tu wachana na hao sasa shida uh -huh. shida ukujia hapa uh -huh. kwanza this married men uh -huh. ndo wanaribingi story uh -huh. because me me nime interact na wasi wengi sana yes and uh, a lot of tunasema successful hiyo success yenye wanasema yes. juu mse anakupigia simu na juu uko campus e hey, toxic fanyaje si ukuja hapa itini na ukuja na madem unaona uh -huh. So hey. unapata kwa hiyo harakati yao madem utaenda mbonge na homse. So right. msikio mtu atakwambia advice kama hiyo. Atakupea advice mzuri sana. Okay. Akwambie bwana hii nje unaelekea si mzuri. Angalia huku at the end of the day atapata yao madem 10000 10000 10000. So the example I, I, kenye unaambiwa na hey, kenye anafanya ni different. Hapana hivyo, unaona? Ju mimi mtu angenionyesha yenyewe eh hapana madem wapii pesa nini mm. na fa ni concentrate anambia bana hata mimi unaona mimi madem mimi niko na bibi moja tu nimeko unaona like unaona eh nyewe huyu mtu ana make sense <laughs> lakini mnaongea hiyo yote alafu baadaye unasikia sasa eh, sasa toxic si wewe unaweza chukua uba sasa eh ujisote eh, wewe unaweza chukua uba sasa hawa waache hapa eh. see si, si you guys are have to go forward <laughs> Unaenda ukifikiria maisha yako sawa nimepoa uh -huh. advice. Lakini na kenye tumepoa nao madem bado advice. Akiongea hata madem wanasikia. Mimi nimetoka <laughs> na advice na pesa ya uba. Ama madem kila mtu ametoka na uba na elfu kumi juu juu. Wewe kwenda huko na hizo advice. Wacha ni wa, kama mbaya mbaya. <laughs> Wacha nienda kwa hiyo ocean. Ni kulia kwa tu na samaki nikisema niliendaga kwa ocean. Number one thing is that no matter how people around you or the people you see can be successful. They can they can't be su that successful that they take what belongs to you mm. not to come you you can't say that i don't have because people are too successful so they have taken what i should have taken aha uh -huh. they still they still but they still it is still the there yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is only that seeing other people becoming successful probably are even older than them or we think they are better than us so the patience dies okay how can it that and the motivation dies because you think you are not trying the thing is you're not here to compare your life with any other person it is a matter of time if you connect one to two your yeah. time will come yeah but we don't just we, we don't want to wait until that, that time comes and if any young man gets money no matter how little it is mm -hmm. and uses it well it is a matter of time they will taste well right. but if you use it and you are a conduit pipe and a challenge to some other people yes. to use they become successful in your eyes and you will be a pauper yes I like that. Um, thank you so much for your words on how to motivate young men thank for you. you and for Toxic. Yes. It's almost time for us to finish up, but Salim, I would like you to also give your last word about um, the question, the big question we were asking today is why um, many successful women are single. And of course, we've talked about, you know, some of them are not getting money the right way. So successful as a term needs to be looked at. We've also talked about um, how successful women once they are successful though we didn't talk about it so much but there's always that conversation successful women so it's very hard for me to commit to a man living with a man having a family with a man because every now and again when he says something i'll be like are those instructions i'm being given i'm a successful woman so there's also that conversation but there's what these two have said which is how do we motivate the young man so wafikane na our successful women mupambane uko na your dating number relationships uh, one, let me say opportunities are there. Okay. The opportunities are there for the young man out, out there. Go out, see nyuma, do what you have to do. Make sure that you pursue, you persist, you pray carefully, do what you have to do as a man. And um, secondly, why many women are successful mm -hmm. and single? Uh, I, I can say from what uh, Mr. Ezekiel, uh, I think, Alisa uh, Maivo, uh, like, uh, it's because of circum certain circumstances, whereby our women, uh, or our men, most of them, maybe they're focused on other things. Kuna brokenness, kuna lack of trust nowadays. Women don't have trust mm, for men. True. They want to push on and do whatever they want to do as women. Yeah. And one and uh, like I said, for women, they are like, you know what, right now I have to do me. Right now I have to do me. I, I don't care how I'm going to get this money. Yes. Not all women. Yeah. But I have to get this money. Yeah. There are women who inbox me. And they tell me, Salim, like uh, another lady two days ago. Mm -hmm. And she was telling me, I just left this guy. Why? 
when the guy gets money ashuguliki na story yangu what he does he just flees and then akisha maliza do oh ana disappear alafu kisha anarudi na watu wawili and patikona watu wawili so what happens and they have two children okay yeah, wow children. Yeah. so what happens the lady decided you know what uh uh i have kids let me leave yeah plus i've been doing yeah. it alone anyway kama na rudini says let person meisha see i'm solo dolo anyway so right now the lady i'm a part job and take care of the kids now the guys like oh babe you know what i need to come back i'm sorry i told the lady you know what do you yeah just do you usimfungie kwa na watu hii kanta kwa watu hii acha kwa watu hii but do you for now let him respect you let him see uh some uh, some some essence about you yeah and your family because those yeah. children are his and also your family. yeah because you you can't have a man who is a responsible right a man who can't handle responsibility you can't you can't have such a man in your life mm-hmm. and i can also say for those men who don't have money mm-hmm. wana kita fadhali support them support them support these guys those visionary guys support them i'm not talking about those men who just want to sit there and watch tv the whole day yeah no. Ah, no, no the ones who are actually exactly. trying yeah. and there's a man come out toko kwenye box go out and do what you have to do that is what i can say thank you so much thank you thank now, you now can you please quickly mm-hmm. i want you guys to give um everybody your social media handles mm-hmm. and for you two authors as well please mm-hmm. tell them about mm-hmm. your books you can tell them All the right. title and where they can find it mm-hmm. and of course mze toxic you tell them about where they can get your awesome services All right my name is my social media name is Kelly Inspiration on YouTube Kelly Inspiration on Instagram and Kelly Inspiration on Facebook I have my book that is Seeing Beyond the Obvious yes. is here that is seeing beyond the obvious I a very profound it. book you can dm uh, it's called dm yes dm me on instagram on facebook and you can get it wherever you are why not love it uh mze toxic kila mali toxic the mc everywhere and a big shout out to gas chamber djs dj epic in the house kts yes. yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah big shout out to gas chamber djs make sure you follow them and it's toxic the mc Oop. Kwanza mimi na uanga matanga niite matanga <laughs> na MC Wizards. Can you please spell toxic for them so they yeah, can get it correctly? Yeah, it's T O G Z I K. Yeah, thank you. Nice. And Cyrus, where can people get your mentorship services and what's the name of your book? All right, all right. Thank you. I have a book out, Your Life's Purpose. You can DM me as well. Social media, utanipata Facebook kama Prince Salim Kenya. Twitter you can get me a Salim Cyrus Instagram Salim Cyrus and YouTube Salim Cyrus Thank you so much guys I love man talk because I obviously I'm a woman and I come here with my own preconceived notions <laughs> and sometimes I tend to be right but I also learn a lot when I do this show so thank you so much guys thanks thank for being too. open thank and you honest so much. thanks so for much. representing mentors thanks mm. for your transformational words mm. and mze Thank you so much for representing. Yes, Mta. Please, please. Thank you so much. Bless you guys. Guys, keep it right here on KTN Home. This has been Man Talk. Let's keep the conversation going on online. Use the hashtag Man Talk and the hashtag KTN Life and Style. You can find me on my social media at Sura underscore common. Yes. So are common. That's everywhere on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook under the same handle and I will see you guys at the next episode. Bye. <laughs>